name is Sol Martin, I'm the founder and CEO of Sporting Global, and I'm here joined with Isabel and Michelle from the ESBS team. First of all, thank you for having us in Valencia. It feels really good to be here. Thank you for coming here to Valencia, of course. It's a you're, pleasure. You're welcome, Ole. It's a pleasure to have Sporting Global in here, see our, face, uh, our faces for the first time in Rio, and after the pandemic. Really, really nice. It, it, it feels really good, and I'm excited. The sun is shining, and I think yeah, you know where are we and where are we heading next? Yeah. Perfect. Well, we are at the SBS campus in Valencia, so let's show it to you. Let's do it. All right. Please. We are here since 2019. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Before that, we were based in Valencia CS Foundation. Yeah. And we we were doing our master's degree in, in the facilities of the club of the foundations in, in near Mestalla. Right. And sometimes uh, we were having our our lessons at Mestalla Stadium as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's a huge experience for our students. Yeah. And something that we are really doing up uh, up today. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I know like, it's just you know a very how can I say a very <laughs> interesting hallway. A lot of cool yeah. stuff. But let's just go to the here and, and yeah. see like some of the cool stuff that you guys have. You know? Actually, yeah. yeah. When we design this this campus, we try to mix a bike and CFS history as well. Yeah. We are managing the brand of the training center of an MSS Foundation, so we are here. Uh, we can see here the, the last celebrations of titles of Valencia CF. Yeah, yeah. It's worth a Super Cup in 2005 or Copa del Rey in 1999. Right. Historical ones is there. At this side, we have uh, some trophies that the school has achieved during these years. Right. My history, small business, the third place in the ranking of 2018, week one. And in the other side, we have more like. A presence from our lecturers, or uh, in this case, um, a piece of history of, right. this, of this institution. A lot of history in the hallway here, and I yeah. guess like a lot of inspiration for the students coming yeah. in here. You know, every day, you know, just uh, yeah. feeding on like you know yeah. the, the yeah. history. Of and course, it's also a place that we like to say it's to create networking because it's our main right. objectives here at the school. I'm from the admissions department, so we always say that one of our first objectives is that students can get to know each other a little bit more, yeah. not only in their classrooms, but also at the outside during breaks and many other time that they have between other courses or any other things. So if you all can show you a little bit more the business school, actually yeah. you can let's do it. Us. And actually that, that history part as well, it's something that um, we try to to expand it to our own stadium as well. Right. Uh, as in here we have historic information about Valencia CF, we have uh, from the uh, school as well. But at the stadium, we count as well with uh, the oldest stadium, La Liga, and also with some of our uh, lecturers that they are uh, professionals of Valencia CF. So right. our students, they and the course knowing also the culture of the club. Mm. So, yeah, so that's like a strong presence of the club, the history, uh, the city in a, in a sense exactly. too. And, and I mean, like just, just talk a little bit about as we were going, I guess in a sense of the classrooms yeah. and like the student yeah. experience, like talk a little bit about, um, you know, the, the student experience, like what are some of the classes, the subjects that they can, you know, experience? Exactly, that's perfect. So here in this space, it's a place where students can just Chill uh, between lessons, yeah. etc. Now we are going to our rooms, uh, fully updated, uh, um, fully updated uh, to online lessons as well. Right. Uh, that's uh, one one of our uh, advantages in the programs. In the, in this case, that uh, since uh, 2021, uh, after COVID, uh, we introduce a hybrid methodology where no matter where you are, you can be part of this class. So, right. So we have students that they are all the year here at the school studying the program some of them are part-time uh, working part-time studying so uh, they only come sometimes but they yeah. can join online 
program. Yeah. Yeah. Live. yeah. So talking about numbers too, just to make you an idea. Sure. This year we had around like 35 different nationalities, which wow. make it very international. So just for you to know yeah. how many parts like different countries we are we are coming here. So it's also for them better to have the online opportunity. Mm. So just yeah. in case they can make it here to the school. So we always have to make the best experience for them. Right. And also you were asking about the subjects. It also depends about the courses. We have many different ones. Yeah. Of course, all of them are related to sports management. Yeah. But depending on, for example, the law program, um, they are not the same subjects as they can have in the master in international sports management. So mm. they can they can make it yeah. very different. Exactly. Uh, the law program is for lawyers, sports lawyers. Right. Uh, the master in international sports management is for people that they want to uh, join this industry or they want to reinvent themselves because they have all experience in other industries and they want to join the sports industry. Right. And uh, just a uh, recent graduated as well. So uh, that's basically our, our kind of profile of thing that we have in the school. And I think it shows yeah. a nice variety of just having that international, you know, student base and yeah. I mean, like how important has that been to kind of like, you know, I guess bringing people from all over the world mm -hmm. and just feeling that uh, ESBS huge. culture, you know, that yeah. you guys Yeah, have. and that's huge because we are talking uh, today in numbers of master program with 100 students right. with 37 nationalities. Yeah. So it's a really, really multicultural campus and it's also a, a way to to make this networking this with the students as well and right. to know the cultures of the of other countries because you never know what is going to happen in the future yeah. as well in the end one thing we are sure that the students are going to be uh, colleagues in the of on the industry and you never know when they're going to do business or if you need to negotiate something with another country another culture right. how, how they behave Okay, maybe you have a student, you have a colleague in your class that taught you yeah. how, to, how is that culture and you can adapt your negotiation to the to the world. Right. So. So I'm here with Raul, a student at ESBS. Just tell us a little bit about what you're studying and how your experience has been so far at the program. Well, I'm here. I'm doing here the uh, sports management master uh, in international sports management. Nice. And yes, the experience has been good. I mean, talking to people to, from all many places. Uh, our group is very wise, uh, variety. We have people from Argentina, from Peru, from me from Mexico, mainly Mexican. Yeah. But yeah, thinking that diversity in the group is pretty good. Uh, we had the trip to Paris, that it was pretty good. Uh, we've been to Parc de Prince, Stade de France. It was pretty amazing experience. Awesome. What has been your key highlight so far in the program? Yeah, probably the, the trip to Paris and also the, the visits here in Valencia to Mestalla, to Circuit uh, Ricardo Tormo and the one that are coming up uh, also we're very excited for them. That's awesome. First of all, thanks for taking the time for meeting us in Valencia at the ESBS campus. But first of all, I just wanted to know a little bit about your journey into the sport industry. Just take us a little bit through that. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity of being here and talking to you. And so the thing is that uh, back in 2007, I, I was living in Barcelona, and I don't know if you remember, but at that time, FIFA and also the IOC, a little bit further, they decided that Brazil was going to host also FIFA, both FIFA World Cup right. and the Olympic Games in Rio. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw that there was an opportunity, I wasn't working with sports, actually I was doing a PhD in law, nothing to do, but then I realized that maybe I could have an opportunity being a Brazilian. Right. So I took some vacations, went to Brazil, had a meeting with a friend and we decided, so listen, we have to take this opportunity to do something, whatever it is. Right. But then we realized we, we started a company and we managed it for like 10 years. We actually did business in the, in the FIFA World Cup with nice. some two, a couple of national teams, awesome. a mix of people. Actually, in one of the events, we took 10,000 people to this event on this non, particularly 
an unknown city in the south of Brazil mm -hmm. where Ecuador was hosting. So it was a very good experience for me, actually also working with management, player management. Right. So then I came back to, to Spain to improve a little bit my tech and my sales yeah. skills. Yeah. So here I am. Awesome. And, and, and first of all, talk a little bit about the program you're doing at ESPS and then a little bit about, I guess, just living in Valencia, taking that step, you know, coming back and how's your experience been with that? It's been really, really, really good because for me, I was living in Galicia and it rains a lot. Right. <laughs> and I'm from Brazil, so I love going to the beach, I love the sun. Yeah. It's also a part of me. And we decided after nearly five years that we had to move to another place to live the sun, right. to enjoy the sun. Yeah. And I was thinking about where to go and I saw that Valencia was a place that had everything I wanted. I have a kid. Mm. A small child, yeah. my daughter, she's six years old. Yeah. And we also had a dog. Actually, we didn't have a dog, but we bought a dog, a uh, Labrador Retriever. Nice. And we were living at an apartment and we said, this can happen. If the owner, if the owner finds out we have a Labrador here, we, we have to leave. So we put it, we put our minds, we, had, we, needed, we wanted a place with sun, with the sea. Yeah. We wanted to live on a place where we could go out, we could enjoy the day, we could do sports. And I think Valencia has it all, everything. That's awesome. And, but the main thing was the course, because I, I knew that this course, especially when I met Kalebe, mm. the things he told me about the course, I, 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 I thought, well, this, this is gonna be a very good opportunity to improve some of the aspects of my professional uh, career that I knew that I had to improve. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, like, I just, you know, coming in here, moving as a you know, family guy, and, 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 with a kid and a dog, you know, just, just talk a little bit about that too, because it's, it's a big, big, big step in a sense of just moving, you know, from with, with a family. You know what I think? I think that depends on the personality, right? Oh, on anyone's personality. For me, it's, it's always been really easy. Yeah. Um, I don't get attached to things. I mean, if I have to move, I move. If I have to sell everything, I sell. Yeah. If my family is fine, if we're living fine and doing good and enjoying life, right. let's go. So. It has never been a problem. Actually, in 2017, when I came to Spain, it was the same thing. So yeah. next year, we were, I, I thought to myself, I have to improve this and some aspects of my career. So let's go to Spain. Yeah. Okay, so let's sell everything and go to Spain. So now we're in Galicia after five years. We, have to, we wanted to move, as I said. Right. So let's do it again. Yeah. If it's something we want, I mean, yeah. you, you, you cannot stay stuck in a place. Oh, yeah. For, it, 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 it makes you sick. And I'm happy, and this is why I'm looking right. at it. That's, I think I mean, that's the main thing in life, right? Absolutely. I'm looking for happiness. So I'm really yeah. happy. Happy, yeah. Exactly. And thanks for, uh, thanks for being with us. Fabio. No, thank you. Valencia with you and the ESPS team, but it's a pleasure being with you and thanks for having us and yeah. Thank you, you're very welcome to Valencia and of course to ESBS. I am a head of labeling session here in ESBS and my role is of course to support all the students uh, in, in order to help them in order to build their careers. So we, I work with them um, with all the opportunities that they, they can have during the, the, the master's degree here in ESBS, like for example, uh, volunteering jobs or even uh, some internships, all the things that they can collaborate with, uh, with different kind of uh, companies to have right. uh, experience and develop, of course, their skills and also to get more to know the, the industry here. Yeah. And uh, I think it, we, here in ESBS, we really believe uh, that it's very important uh, to 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 you know to there to learn by doing. Yeah, it's, no, for sure. It's part, it's part of course of our course, so we help them to learn everything about the industry, like with experience. Absolutely, and that's awesome. You want to give us some like samples of like what are some of the opportunities that I guess the students can experience, or like what are some of the places they gone through, and just a little bit of like the process of how you're helping you know the students taking that step. 
Okay, we help them, of course, doing a mentoring uh, from the beginning of the master degree that they are doing with us. So they join us, and uh, I work with them personally, so I can see like every different profile that we have here in SBS right. because it changes a lot. I mean, yeah. of course, we have different profiles, but we have to, you know, adapt all the things that we are going to do with them uh, depending on this the circumstances that they have, where yeah. they're coming from, and what are their professional goals, you know? Mm. So it's very different if we work with someone that wants to um, have their first, their, their first uh, experience yeah. or someone that already have some experience. Yeah. So it's, it's, it depends on, on the profile. So we need to work from the beginning about that. And uh, uh, the other things that we do is uh, offering them uh, different kind of job positions during the master degree uh, with different comp companies that we are uh, collaborating with, of course, and also volunteering with, with uh, for example, Valencia uh, Club de Football and uh, I don't know, maybe different kind of, of events collaborating as well uh, as volunteering yeah. and it depends of course of the, the things that they really want to do. So it's so technically a full personalized experience. Yes. <laughs> Jyotis, like, tell me a little bit about what you're studying and how your experience at the ESPS has been so far. Uh, nice to meet you and uh, as you said, my, I'm Jyotis. Uh, I'm doing the Master in International Sports Management from uh, European Sport Business School. Uh, my program started in uh, October, but at nice. that time uh, I was not able to do it uh, on site. I have some problems with my visa. Yeah. Um, and then I came here on last Jan January 26th and from then I'm doing it uh, on site. Awesome. Yeah. And how has your, your experience been like being in the city, being on campus? Yeah, Valencia yeah, is a vibrant city as you, yeah, maybe you might have seen people, the culture, everything. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it and uh, it was all possible because I got a lot of support from the school uh, when I had the problems with my visa and yeah, that's it. Awesome. And mm. what has been your key highlights so far? Mm, the academic visits, uh, which we had organized by the school, like uh, uh, we had academic visits in Spain as well as across Europe. Uh, we went to Paris on uh, La last February and uh, it was very interesting and it was a new experience for me because I uh, this is my first international travel I never been out of India before I so imagine. yeah uh, I gained a lot of experience from uh, those trips awesome well thanks for the time and uh, okay, well. best of luck in sunny Valencia thank you hey right, it's we're about to wrap up and it's been like an amazing time here in Valencia and we're Mestaya it's it's incredible in itself and it's just been a you know uh, fun day, hectic day, a lot of cool stuff happening and, yeah. and just to close everything up like Kalibitz, thanks for taking the time and for letting us be here. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's wrap things up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much Oli, thank you so much Eduardo. I hope the next time you can spend more time with us here in Valencia, in the sunny Valencia. And yeah, sing up at uh, uh, Sporting Global Platform to get to know more about us, yes, yes. Thank you so much and welcome to Valencia. Awesome, and as always, this not kiss.